Watch this video till the end to know how the partnership with Microsoft will affect Sandbox price. Sandbox, Sand, Coin Price Prediction. What's next for the token? It's been a good week for Sand, the coin of blockchain base plate earn metaverse Sandbox. Last week it shot up 20% possibly on the news that the international bank HSBC was buying a virtual plot, possibly on the news that celebrity Paris Hilton gave its metaverse the thumbs up, or possibly on the vagaries of the bulls in trading. But the price has kept on rising to today, 25 March, when with another 2%, burst it reached $3.45. In February the Sandbox set off on a modest bull run, after gaining the support of global fashion brand Gucci, which has bought a plot of land in its world. But the turmoil caused by the outbreak of war in Eastern Europe pushed it back downwards. It is now 41% down from its 2022 high. What is the outlook for the coin? What is a realistic future price target? What factors could shape any Sandbox coin price prediction for 2022, 2025 and 2030? In this article we look at the latest analyst sandbox price predictions, news and analysis to help you decide if you shall make sand part of your portfolio. What is a sandbox coin? Sandbox is a play to earn game that combines blockchain technology and non-fungible tokens, NFTs, in a three-dimensional, 3D, metaverse. It focuses on user-generated content which helps further develop the platform. The game was initially known as two separate mobile hits, The Sandbox, which was launched in 2011, and The Sandbox Evolution, which was launched in 2016. Together, the two games generated around 40 million downloads across the Android and iOS platforms. In 2018, the game's developer, Pixel, was acquired by Hong Kong-based game software company Animoca Brands which integrated the popular games into the blockchain ecosystem. Sandbox is hosted on the Ethereum network and is powered by Sand, an ERC-20 based token. Inspired by major game creation systems such as Minecraft and Roblox, Sandbox allows players not just to create their own worlds and games, but also to have true ownership of their creations as NFTs. In exchange for participating and playing, players earn Sand tokens. According to the Metaverse's white paper, the current game market limits creator rights and ownership, an issue which Sandbox aims to overcome, while accelerating blockchain adoption to grow the blockchain gaming market. The game itself is split into three parts VoxEdit, where players can create and animate 3D objects such as people, animals, tools and foliage. These are then exported into the Sandbox marketplace, where they become game assets and are sold as NFTs. The Sandbox Marketplace where users can upload, publish and sell their assets as ERC-721 and ERC-1155 tokens. The Marketplace launched on 30 March 2021. Game Maker, where players who own assets can use them to play the game itself. Players can place their assets within a piece of land, an ERC-721 token that they own within the Sandbox Metaverse. This land can be decorated with a number of assets which can be given predefined behaviors through visual scripting nodes. Thus, players are able to turn their land into a potential full game experience. Several lands can be combined by players to form an estate. The sand token fuels the platform and can be earned by selling assets, by owning land which can be rented or populated with content to increase its value, and or by building and monetizing games through the game maker function on the lands that are owned by players. The token also gives players access to the platform. Players use sand tokens to play games, make in-game purchases and customize their avatars. Sand is also charged to upload assets on the marketplace and purchase gems that define an asset's rarity and scarcity. Sand holders are granted governance and can exercise voting rights on key features within the project's roadmap. Players can stake their sand tokens in order to earn more. This is also the only way that players can earn the gems and catalysts that are needed for asset creation. Players get to keep 95% of their sand revenue. The total supply of sand coin stands at 3 billion, with 1.14 billion in circulation. The token reached over $3.93 billion in market capitalization and is ranked the 38th largest cryptocurrency by CanMarketCap as of 25 March 2022.
Sand price driven by partnership and investor news The Sandbox token's outlook started to look much more positive at the start of February 2021, following Sandbox's partnership with cryptocurrency price tracking website can market cap for the latter to release an NFT collection on the metaverse. By then, Sandbox already had over 165 partners, including popular U.S. rapper Snoop Dogg and famous TV series The Walking Dead and The Smurfs. The project had also partnered up with Liberty City Ventures, Galaxy Interactive and Adidas Originals. On 25 November 2021, the token had reached its all-time high of $8.4022, a 16,387.83% surge since its launch at $0.05096 on 15 August 2020. On 1 December 2021 Sandbox announced that players could purchase plots next to the one where Snoop Dogg was building his mansion, Snoopverse. This led the sand token to grow by just 2.02% from $6.5781 on 1 December to $6.7114 the following day. Following an overall drop in Bitcoin and Ether prices at the start of December, sand also fell by 28.8% to $4.7785 by mid-month, despite having secured partnerships with 10 exchanges, as well as a Maurer NFT collection memorializing the Berlin Wall. On 21 December 2021, the Metaverse's partner, Canadian electronic music producer DEADMAU5, announced a launch of his NFT collection on the Sandbox Marketplace which pushed the Sand Token's price up to $6.73 on 26 December, an increase of by 40.81% from its 14 December low. Bank of America strategist Haim Israel said on 1 December that the Metaverse will make cryptocurrencies even more popular than they already were, thus boosting price targets for many metaverse-based crypto tokens including SAND. On 18 January 2022, investment firm JP Morgan Chase agreed with BOA's bullish predicament by publishing a report saying that the metaverse industry could possibly reach over $1T in yearly revenues. The firm's report mentions Sandbox as one of the main metaverse platforms. However, the token's value line on the chart started to decline once again amid a general dip in the crypto market at the start of 2022 due to the possibility of tightening monetary policy and geopolitical tensions. At time of writing, 25 March, the token is trading at $3.45.